Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Look what came in the mail today. My ancestry DNA test. I've been so excited about getting this done. Like, if you guys know my personal story, you know I need to actually find out some more about my family history and background. And hopefully so I've opened the box and it says, welcome to Ancestry DNA. Well, Ancestry, I am welcomed. So I've got to activate this online. 15 digit activation code on the collection tube. I think this is the collection tube. Oh, yeah, it does have a 15 digit code. Well, then I've got to spit in it. This actually looks like it's gonna take quite a bit of spit. Hopefully it's only to the line that's on there. Oh wait, here it is, okay. I'm reading along, it actually is to the line. Bear with me guys. <laughs> and then you've got to put this blue stuff in, tighten it, and then shake it. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Junior's just talking away in the background. And then I've got to put it in here. And I guess this will keep it safe. Oh. No, wait. There's more. Like I said, bear with me. You've got to put it in here next. So you put it in the collection bag, you put it in the collection box, and you post it away. To Dublin Island. Oh, Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to post it to Dublin. Yeah, it seems pretty easy. Well, I just ate, so I've got to give it 30 minutes. It says, so it's been like six to eight weeks, and my DNA is finally here. I'm just gonna pull it off my phone and read this out. At first I was like, I wouldn't really mind knowing, but now that it's here, I'm kind of like anxious to actually know where I'm from or where my family history is from. <laughs> Got a few really, really beautiful countries there actually okay so it says I am 49% Benin slash Togo I don't know if I said that right Benin Benin Ben something slash Togo 49% so that's actually quite big and then we've got 22% Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu peoples. Who are Bantus? Okay, I'm gonna need to research that because I don't know who Bantu peoples. Maybe that's a tribe? Okay. And then we have 6% Ghana and Ivory Coast. I knew I was Ghanaian. I love their food, so, you know, something in my inner soul told me that I am Ghanaian. <laughs> and then we have, oh, oh, 5% <laughs> Germanic Europe. What does that even mean? Germany? Germanic Europe? What's Germanic? Germany? Is there a Germany in America? Why is it Germanic Europe? Maybe I just don't know. I might not know. Okay, wow. 5% Nigeria. <laughs> Lord! <laughs> okay. 5% France. Listen, I'm gonna need to do this again. 
4% Ireland and Scotland. Okay. 3% Mali. Oh, that's cute. 1% Norway. 1%? Really? Norway? Um, what is Norway? They give you all these countries, and this is just an overview of what I actually have, what my DNA is actually made up of. But when I click on it, it actually tells me more. I'm just going to read it quick so I can explain it to you guys. Oh, so basically nearly all black people will be from West Africa because you were taken from their homes. That's basically what it's just told me here. Okay, so I guess I'm getting slavery. Oh. Oh. Cameroon, Congo and Southern Bantu peoples. Prim primarily people that have come from Angola. Angola? I know my granddad was Portuguese though. I know they... Okay. Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi, Madagascar, Mozambique, Namibia, Republic of Congo, Zimbabwe, Zambia. Oh. Okay. This is a lot to read guys, like... I don't know how they found all these countries but on the bottom of this skip all of that because this is actually a lot to read I'm just gonna do a run through of all the countries I'm actually from for me to read this I have to read this on a personal level That's something you guys would probably be interested in additional communities that I may be from African Caribbeans so specifically the Greater Antilles African Caribbeans Actually, I have traces to both of them, Greater Antilles and Lesser Antilles. Well, both my grandparents were from the Caribbean, so maybe one from each side. But then we're missing a whole side because, for those of you who don't know, I don't actually know who my dad is. So, whoever he may be, you may be, could be anyone. I'm missing that whole side, so everything I'm guessing is maternal. But my dad could be anyone. So we don't actually know much about him. So maybe I know all the Europeans from my granddad. And yeah, this is kind of still confusing because when you're missing half of your history like that and you like there's no actual way of finding out who he actually is it's hard because even reading this I'm like okay I can see where I'm from but where am I from because all I know is my mother's side and that's limited because black people's history only goes back so far because there's only so much paperwork for us and now I'm missing an entire side which is my dad's side and it's just hard because any of this could be from my maternal side as well so what of this is my dad this is where you just feel lost in the world but it is what it is. I mean, when I when I did this DNA test, I was hoping that I'd actually find like some more of my siblings as well, because I'd hope that he had kids somewhere else. But what can you do? It gave me a few other things as well. Over two hundred cousins, but four cousins. So it wasn't really any siblings or any parents or anything like that. So, I mean, it's done its best. It's not God. So I can't expect miracles. 
from something like this, but it's interesting. Like, I'm actually quite pleased with some of these countries. I'm actually quite pleased with all of them because it is who I am. Now I can actually look into these countries. Some of them I didn't know. Never heard of Benin. Benign. Okay, and I don't know who the Bantu peoples are. So that's actually pushing me to educate myself to find out more from where I'm from. And for those of you who actually don't know much about yourself, I definitely recommend this. It was super, super easy. And the waiting just really killed me, to be honest. Like, I was so anxious to just know where I was from. And now I know I'm kind of have mixed feelings, so sorry about the vlog because even though I thought I found out what I wanted to know, I still feel like I'm missing a piece of it too. So, guys, to round everything up, I'd say my ancestry experience was definitely worth it. Not only am I gonna keep my DNA on the system um, in the hopes that I'll actually match up with some more relatives later on in life because the more popular ancestry becomes, the more people I'll be on the system, the more chances of me actually ben benefiting from it. So that is something I will definitely be doing. And I've learned a bit more about myself. Definitely I'm pleased with the results. I just feel a bit lost because maybe I was expecting too much, but the system can only work so well and if you want to find out more about yourself or you're looking for someone it's always ways I've read there's always ways I've read stories where people have actually husband and wife found out they're actually related and stories where brothers and sisters have met up after long loss or being in foster care or just being separated from when they were young so there are some good perks to ancestry. Yeah, so I paid about 50 pound for my kit. And that was in the sale. It is quite pricey for what it is, but for me, it was an experience and I'd definitely say it was worth it. Thank you everyone for watching my video and actually joining me on my ancestry DNA results vlog. This has been a really personal experience for me because it really goes back to my soul I'd say and I'm just grateful that you guys have actually come along to share this experience with me. Have a blessed weekend, stay safe, remember stay positive, stay focused and stay patient because without those things I'm not sure where I'd be so that's something I'd like to share with you guys. Thank you. Bye.